this little stuff. Guys, we are here in Mochier, Switzerland at Azura. This company started in 1917 making watch parts, guys. It's crazy. We seriously drove two minutes from Tornos. Their watch making facilities here are like Starbucks. It's insane. They have a bunch of Tornos machines here. So let's get into this facility. This is awesome. I can't wait to see what they do here. Hi, Danny. Hi. Actually, it's 1914. Oh, 1914? Yeah, and we were in this building since 1917. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. 1914, guys. My bad on that one. Yes, I'm uh, Johan Vianney. I'm the CEO of Azurea Muti. I'm in Azurea uh, since uh, for 15 years. Now, it's really cold. Let's get inside. Come. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. 15 years, man. 15 all you, years. All Swiss guys hang around your jobs for a while. At Tornos, there were guys who worked there longer than I've actually been alive. It's crazy. Let's go see the machines. All right, yeah, man, I'm excited. Oh, already you can smell the manufacturing in the air here. Look at this bar sock, look how tiny these bars are. <laughs> you have to be very careful when lifting a bar up like this because you can bend it very easily. All that to make some small screw over and over and over and over. Oh, well, I recognize you here. Swiss Nano, I love it, man. These things are sweet. How many of these do you have in here? Here, there is eight. And this year, we arrived six new. Really, just this year, you've had six new nanos. Six new this year. Really, that's crazy. So you look at how many machines you have in such a tight space here. Like, they're able to fit them so compact in here. Like, if you look at how close these two bar feeders actually get together, it's super convenient. And normally machines, when you work on them, they have a door that's in the front, right? What's cool about the nano is, is you can open that bubble and work on it, like, all around. So you don't have to have this, like, specific orientation or anything like that. So you can kind of make them really compact. Check this out. Look at this, look at this. You can actually see, I have their company logo on the side of the gang on the main spindle. Jeez, dude. This is next level stuff. Yeah, we will definitely look at that. I don't want to like knock that out of your hand. <laughs> we, we, we make this part on the Swiss Nano. Look at these little guys. You can open the if you need. I'm scared to open it. Like, like I feel like if, like, right now, if I were to, achoo, it just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Look at the, look at these little pinions. Look at those. Can you see those on the camera? There's a tiny little gear on there, and that diameter, if I had to guess, is probably a couple hundred microns or eight thousands, ten thousand, something like that. So, on average, like, how long is the cycle time on one of your machines? Forty. 40 seconds. 40 seconds? Yeah. And do you have to really machine slowly to make it look really, really beautiful? Yeah, that's the difficult with uh, watch parts. You have to be slow to have nice parts. That, I mean, that makes sense because if you it'll look terrible, right? And Too much forces. Right, right. And they're, they're trying to make jewelry here. So, literally, jewelry. This one I've made on the multi Swiss machine tonos. This one is made on a multi-swiss machine tonos. This is all the gears that you can find in your watch. This one is made on Evo Decodis. Very technical parts. Yeah, look at you can tell that. Look at that. Holy cow. It's a column wheel. And this one also on Evo Deco tonos. I mean it's gotta shine, right? Shine is important. This is so cool. It's really cool. Thank you. Yeah. What is cool with this machine? You can change series, you can make a setup less than one hour. Every day you can make a new setup. Even if you're going from a gear to a pinion to a... Even. Really, less than one hour. Very efficient. That, that's why we like this machine. Um, what other Tornos machines do you have in here? There is also Evo Deco says, and there is also five multi-Swiss. Five multi-Swisses? Yeah. Man, I'm excited to check that out. I really do love that machine. All right, this is super cool to see, right? When you come into these shops, this is what Swiss machining is all about. Machine after machine, one lined up right after another, pumping out parts. This is automation at its finest, and it's so cool to see firsthand when you come to these different companies. This is how you bring work back to your country right here. Buying Swiss machines, lining them up, automating the process. You could beat other countries, you could beat your competition. Right here is how you do it. And Tornos makes that all possible, and I love it. All right, so these are all Evo Decos here, right? And this one right here, this one looks new. Yeah, the 16. Here, come check this out, look at this thing. What's really cool about this machine is it has two gangs that can attack the main at the same time and it has front working tools that can also attack the gang at the same time as the two front gangs. So you actually have three gangs that can work on the main at the same time. This is what I would call like the screw machine killer because this is exactly how like old brown and sharps work. And you have a multi-swiss over here? Yeah. Oh, let's go check that out. I love this machine. So this is a six spindle. So it's a 16 millimeter diameter, six spindle machine. Can we uh, can we see what it's making? Yeah, for sure. This kind of parts. Gosh, look at these little gear teeth. This the, one, the it, ball bearing. Oh, this is the ball bearing that's in my watch. Man, there are tiny, tiny little <laughs> ball bearings in there. That is insane. Yeah, so right now this thing's actually running six spindles simultaneously. Each operation after it's done, it's gonna rotate to the next one. And after that, the counter spindle is gonna come up, grab the part and finish the last side of the operation. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> 
impressive. It's very, I, li I like that. Yeah, very impressive. Hello there, friend. They use the good stuff. I like it. Donnie from the future here. That Maltese Swiss is an awesome machine, let me tell you. I interrupted this video to give JBS Performance a huge shout out. Thank you so much for supporting free education and everything we do here at Titans of CNC. All right, let's get back to it. Is there anything else you want to show us that you'd like? Uh, yes. Yes? Here you have a oh, wow. way of control and we use an optic system to control our own production. You see it on the screen, it looks like it's easy, but it is really impressive to me how quickly she's moving these parts. She's doing that with tweezers. <laughs> And in one second, give you all the dimension. Really? Oh, that's a really efficient way to check your parts. Impressive. Especially when they're as small as that. You get the results and you can even send the results to the machines. Okay. You can adjust the machine with the results directly. That's high level automation right yeah, there. Yeah. I mean, when, you're, when your quality gauges are adjusting your machine, that's pure automation. What is hard is the dimension and also the tolerance, plus minus three microns. That's crazy. Johan, thank you so much for your tour through your place. It's a very beautiful company you guys have here. The history, everything. It was really nice of you to take us through this. Thank you so much for showing all of this to us. Thank you. We are proud. Thank yes. you to you. Yeah. Thank you for your job. Yes, absolutely. All right, guys, that's it for this building. We're actually going to go to another building now of Azura's, meet a different CEO, and yeah, check all that stuff out too. See you when we get there. All right, we are at the second plant of Azura. They have even more machines, more crazy stuff to check out. Let's get inside, guys, I'm excited. Hi, my name is Sam, I'm the CEO of the company. Oh, nice to meet you, my name is Donnie. Nice to finally meet you. We come here in Azura Microtechnique, follow me please. Yes. So Danny here, yes. we are make some parts for the medical component, metrology and micro technology. We use a lot of different kind of raw material like titanium, steel, a lot of plastic and also aluminum, whatever, a lot of things. Yeah, I can see you guys have a lot of Swiss machines yeah. in here. This is crazy. Uh, we have 32 machines, but... Uh... And that's why you guys bought Tornos, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. You want, you need you yeah. need precise equipment. Yeah, again, just like their other facility guys, they have Swiss after Swiss after Swiss. Not a lot of people in here, as you can tell. You know, they have a few operators checking the parts, a few setup guys, but not a whole lot to keep these machines running and running and running. This really is what automation looks like when it is completely mastered, and the Swiss are really good at this. We like the parts with the very difficult raw material, yeah. That's why we need to have more pressure with the uh, repose. Yeah, and I see you guys actually have a really nice ventilation system going across the whole shop here to contain all the mist. It's really, honestly, being in here, it's really not that bad for how much high pressure coolant you have shooting in all these machines. Like, it's because you're cutting with oil, yeah, yeah. and oil smokes. Exactly. So, like, if you don't have these mist collectors like they do, it is a disaster in there. We don't only send the parts, we send a fork shaft. We are certified with the ISONOM 3485. That's what it's all about. And now we arrive in the Swiss Deco. Three, we have three. Wait, 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 wait. How are you getting these machines up here? Like, look at this, look at, look at this. These are big Swiss machines. You know, we're like, what, two stories up, three stories up right now? We're like, I just see windows. How are you, how are you getting these things up here? We make a hole on the roof and with the helicopter, we arrive with the Swiss Deco there. Wait, are you kidding? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we, make, we make a big hole on the wall, put some Swiss Deco here. And we were the first company around the world who got this machine. Let's go check them out. I'm actually really excited to see this. These machines are sweet. Yeah, and we directly introduce with Vincent. Oh. That's how it's just good. Hey, Vincent. Hey. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, do you work on the Swiss Deco machines up here? Yes. Yeah, really? Do you yeah. program them? Yes, Set yes. them up, everything? Yes, everything. So this is the man on the Swiss Deco right here, guys. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, do you mind showing us some stuff, too? Ah, yeah. 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 All right. Yeah, let's go check it out. So uh, how long have you been working here? Uh, 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. Man, I don't think I've met a short-term employee in Switzerland. I'll tell you what. Oh man, look at this thing. It takes a very skilled person to program more than a two-channel machine. Does this turret have the B-axis? Yeah, exactly. Really? So, exactly. Do all three of these have the B-axis? Yeah. Oh, that is so awesome. They have three fully loaded decos up here, guys. So the light's on. I don't know if you can see it, but we went over it in the factory. The other day. That, that turret over there is it's on, on its own B-axis. How do you like the new control? Yeah. yeah. I haven't been able to get my hands on it yet. Yeah. And this whole week, I've been walking around Torno. It's like, <laughs> I want to just stop filming. For me, and, it's yeah. like a, a big smartphone, you know? Yeah, really, yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Is it, do you, I mean, having Tysus like this on here, it's got to be nice, because I, I use the software, but I've yeah. never used it on the machines. Have you noticed a big difference having Tysus on the control like this? Yeah, of course, because it's really user-friendly. It's easy to use. For us, it's, it's a good thing to have that. Yeah. And I just was going to start pressing buttons, but I realized it's all in French, and I can't read a single thing on here. Persage. et bosch. Persage et bosch. Persage et bosch. What is that? In the first drill, we take a lot of material, you know? So like a rough drill? Is exactly. that what that means? Okay. Right, that's uh, 
four words I know in uh, French now. <laughs> Just uh, 10,000 some to go. <laughs> so this is the actual, the first Swiss deco in the world. Exactly. Yeah. Really? Really. That's, uh, that's impressive. All right, so this is Jill. He's from Torno. So we were just talking about the Swiss Deco 36. These are also Decos though, and they don't look the same. So what is this behind us here? So behind us is the Deco 10 Plus. Actually, uh, Torno sold a lot of uh, Deco back in the years because those Decos used to be, and they're still very good machines. We want to give them another life. So we take them back to refurbish them. We improve them a little bit with a new control panel and so on. And then we send them back to the workshop and they have another 25 years of life that's the goal basically are you noticing any differences between the refurbished version and the older version is it really as good as they're saying yeah yeah really really it, the base is the same so for us it's easy to to learn to work with this machine okay but it's new so it makes a big difference for us well that's pretty sweet man good job tornos your machines rule people over years that have been working on those machines right yeah. there are plenty of those machines on the ground so people have built their skills on it so why do we change yeah. the machine where people have been trained on it we have this topic of skill labor shortage people know how to use those machines so just let's refurbish them and people know how to handle them that's a cool project sam thank you so much for having me out at your facility azuro is an amazing company out here in switzerland they care about their heritage they respect manufacturing it's super cool to see what you guys do out here i Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Daniel, thank you for coming. You are always welcome to come back here in Azuram Property. And if you want to find another job, a new opportunity, you know our company. <laughs> don't, don't say that in front of my boss, man. You might get mad about it. <laughs> Vincent, it was nice meeting yeah. you as well, man. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank You're a really, really smart guy. Very, very talented machinist. That's how the Swiss are here, man. They're super friendly. They're super cool. You got to love it. Sorry, you, you, you speak very I know, I know, I know. <laughs> they slow me down on the camera. <laughs> Gnarly bro. Gnarly bro. <laughs> Standing out in the cold. Oh, cold. You have a jacket I don't have. Yeah, you know. Alright. Yeah. 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 Enjoy. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. 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 Cheers.